Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In today's video, we're going to look at building and programming the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 robot with Scratch. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But first, we're going to look at the building process. And there are lots of different steps to building a robot. So I thought we'd start the video by uh, showing you a sped up footage of me building the robot so you can see how it's done. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at the building process and now we're going to look at programming it. So that right there, that's a motor and it moves in a clockwise direction and it can basically um, move the robot. So um, we're going to use this block and this is um, motor B we're using um, and that's the port of the motor turning clockwise for one second. And now let's see what happens. So the robot turns clockwise for one second and, and let's say um, we want to turn anti-clockwise we use this that y block and now let's see what happens it moves anti-clockwise and um, now i want it to move forward and then backward and that is possible but there are no blocks for it so um, let me explain we've got to broadcast the message when we receive the message we've got to um, turn motor b but we also have to turn motor c at the exact same time or it's not going to move forward and let's see what happens so as you can see it moved forward and then it moved backwards. Now let's see if we can adjust the speed of it. So we can use this power and it basically uh, adjust the power of the robot, it's motor. So let's do um, 30%. So now we'll click on that and let's see what happens. So it moved um, quite slow that time. So if we set it back to 100 um, then it will move um, fast again. Moving on, we're going to look at the medium motor, and the medium motor is basically um, the hammer you see on it, but um, you can put lots of different attachments. There's um, this thing, which I actually used in the building video, and it basically just turns. So um, There's also a grabber, and that basically can grab objects, and there's also um, this thing, which basically you can shoot balls. But we're not going to use any of them, we're just going to stick with the hammer to keep it simple. So. And motor A turned this way for one second and then we got to do motor A turn that way so it's going to hit the floor and then go back up again. Perfect. Now we can use the touch sensor with that and the touch sensor is basically this sensor right there and I actually just attached it on myself and that basically when I press it then a program can execute on scratch. So we can use this block and it's when button 1 is pressed and that is basically the port. Make sure you have the correct port. So now, when I uh, press the touch sensor, the hammer goes. So let's do that again. There we go. Now, moving on, we're, we're going to look at the um, light sensor. And the light sensor is that sensor down there. So I can actually take that off because we don't need it down there. And um, this is the light sensor. And this block here, and that's the brightness value. And the brightness is basically... Um, if it's 100, it's um, really bright. If it's 0, then it's really dark. And currently, the brightness is at 35. There it's 39 because I moved it. But um, 
let's say I turn the light off, so it's gonna get darker now. Starts a wee bit darker, and it's down to 34, so I uh, dipped by um, 5 values, so let's um, turn the light back on so you can actually see the robot better. And I think that is basically all the blocks we really need to learn today, so I'm actually gonna attach this on, so um, give me a second. Okay, now that's done, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna make a remote control, so it's we can use the keys of the keyboard to actually um, control how the robot moves. So when um, up arrow key is pressed, we want it to move forward, so we can broadcast the message. And then when we receive the message, we can get motor um, B to turn this way, and then we also get motor C to turn this way. And we can do the exact same, but this time we are going to use the down arrow, and that's going to move it backwards. So I've already made a message too, and we can basically go into events when I receive message 2 then we can use um, the, that white block this block and I've got to duplicate that so it's the exact same for C and now that is the hardest part done and then we can use um, the left arrow key and that's going to move um, the robot anti-clockwise so we can use um, this block and basically it's turned that way and then finally the right arrow um, can turn it clockwise so when right arrow key is pressed and let's say we want the hammer so we can use the touch sensor and then we can do motor A and then we can do motor A again and that should be our program finished so now let's see what happens so it's gonna move left it's gonna move right it's gonna move backwards and as you can see, it's working perfectly. And now, let's say um, we'd want to test the touch sensor. Well, that's going to hammer the ground. So um, that is going to be it for today's uh, video of the Scratch Coding class. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see uh, more videos. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.